the last few years, the court in Strasbourg has also been dealing with conflicting rights, the right to freedom of expression on the one hand, and also the claim to right of privacy on the other hand. A case which illustrates the way the European Court is dealing with these conflicting rights is a recent judgment by the Grand Chamber in a case against France. It's the case of Guderc and Hachette Filipacci, Associé versus France, um, Hachette Filipacci being the publishing house of a well-known boulevard magazine Paris Match. In that judgment, the European Court elaborates on the appropriate standard for privacy and media under the Human Rights Convention. In essence, the Court discussed the public interest value of a disputed article that was published in the magazine very much. And this article revealed aspects of the private life of a public person who exercised an important political function. In 2005, the French magazine Paris Match was ordered to pay an award of damages, 550,000 euro, and to publish a statement detailing that the court had found a breach of the privacy because of that article which was about Albert II of Monaco. The article contained an interview with the former lover of Albert II of Monaco, and she claimed that her son, her son's father, was Albert Grimaldi, Albert II of Monaco, who became the reigning prince of Monaco later. In particular, the interview described the circumstances in which the former partner um, of Mr. Grimaldi had met the prince, there was information about their relationship and the manner in which the prince had reacted to the news of her pregnancy and how had he had behaved toward, toward the child um, uh, and the bird afterwards. This was considered, according to French legislation, applied by the French courts, as an intrusion of the privacy of um, the sovereign of Monaco. At the end, very much being interfered with, with its freedom of reporting on what it considered an issue of public interest, went to Strasbourg, and the case finally ended up at the Grand Chamber. In that Grand Chamber judgment, the court found indeed that the article was related to an issue of public interest. It was not merely about the private relationship between a politician and a partner. It was also a relation with regard to an legitimate child that could have an influence on the future uh, heritage and the hereditary nature of the Principality of Monaco. That was already an important issue that the European Court emphasized stronger than the French courts. But maybe the most important and refreshing approach by the European Court was that it said this is not only about the privacy of a politician. This is also about the rights of the mother and the child to be able to expose their story, to show to society what the situation is and to clarify their claims and to give information about what happened in this situation. So finally, considering a whole set of considerations, the European Court found that the interference by the French authorities, in this case, violated Article 10 um, of the European Convention. And it demonstrates that even 
if there is a recognition of the right of privacy to have your intimate life protected, not being exposed in the media, still, when there is an aspect of public interest related to it, and the media have been in a situation, in a position, to clarify this, you fall under the protection of Article 10 of the Convention. The right of privacy is not a stick to knock down the possibilities of media reporting from the moment uh, the private life of public persons is involved. The public interest character and a few other criteria can help to support, to uphold the right of media and journalists to have the possibility to keep on reporting on matters which do matter for society and where the public has a right to be properly informed about.